The Daleks are probably the monster that has been redesigned the most over their years. So today's challenge, I'm going to rank every single design from worst to best on a tier list. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to Time the Hoovians United. Today, I'm going to be ranking all the Dalek designs from worst to best on a tier list. Now, if you've not seen my previous ranking video where I ranked all the Chibnall era villains from worst to best, go and check it out right now. So in today's video, I'm going to rank all the Dalek designs. Now, when I mean all the Dalek designs, I mean Classic Who, New Who, the Cushing movies, the Curse of Fatal Death Daleks, even the, the, the Dark Dimension Daleks. All right, when I say all, I don't mean all the big finish. I don't mean all the comics and the books, but nearly all. It's nearly there, isn't it? So today, I'm going to rank them all from worst to best on a tier list. Let's go. So starting out the F tier. These guys are just ugly. Black and yellow, black and gold, black, silver and gold. It doesn't work for me. It does not go together. They look ugly. In an E tier, has to be the Paradigm Daleks. I'm really sorry, guys. The size, the shape, the really thick base. It doesn't look good to me, I'm afraid. The colours are alright. Well, apart from my style on the Daleks, no colours aren't great. The best one for me is the White Dalek. He could have made up an input to D tier. But overall... This is not my sort of design, so sorry, not sorry. In at D tier, we've got the two Daleks whose colours actually are alright. I actually like the, the design and the colours go well together. But again, it's those thick bases that are a bit weird and I don't like. In at C tier, we've got that iconic 70s design, which for me is great, but the colour doesn't stand out as much as other ones for me. We've got some other, again, really colourful Daleks, really looking, nice looking Daleks, but they've got that thick base, which I do not like. You've also got the, the gold and black Dalek from Day of the Daleks. That's really cool. I really like that. As you'll see, I've put in here the RTD gold Daleks. That is wrong. They shouldn't be there. Don't worry about that. That is wrong. Ignore that. I couldn't be bothered to change it. I'm sorry. You've got the Necros glass Dalek. It's a really, really cool idea. And you've also got that big boy from the, from the Dark Dimension, which is cool. But I think he's a bit too big, to be honest. In a BT, we've got a nice black and blue Dalek without the thick base for once. Yeah, hey! Looks really great without that, that thick base. Brilliant. You've also got the so iconic Renegade Daleks. They are amazing. They look beautiful. They are brilliant. And on the right-hand side, you've got, I think it's a purple Dalek from The Curse of Fatal Death. Looks amazing. In the A tier, boys and girls, it's getting good. It's getting good. You've got all the black Daleks. So starting off with the, the newest one from Revolution of the Daleks. The design for me is really, really good. The lights make it stand out from afar and make them look even more sinister and menacing. You've got the Supreme Renegade Daleks. The black and white and black and silver, if you want. They look so, so good. They look beautiful. The Recon Dalek, I think, actually looks pretty good. Better than most people would say. I actually like it. And you've got the old iconic Dalek set design. Absolutely fantastic. And in that the Almighty S tier are my silvery boys. Like the Cybermen, I like my villains dressed in silver. These guys are breathtaking. These guys are stunning. The colours are fantastic. They look brilliant. Even with the light blue, the light blue, the mechanist style, it looks so, so beautiful, and I love them so, so much. If you're wondering why the Daleks in there with thick bases if I don't like them, well, I actually think the thick base works really well with these designs. The colour scheme just makes it look so good, and for this, this, for this only occasion, I will let it slide. You've also got the Imperial Dalek and the Necros Dalek, that white and yellow, a gold design, looks fantastic. I actually think it looks really, really good. You've got the Special Weapons Dalek, who looks insane. Absolutely monstrous boy, he is insane. And you've also got the brilliant, the Supreme Red Dalek from the Series 4 finale. So what are your thoughts, what are your favourites, which ones would make it to the Almighty S tier? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, which design should I use in a future video to do a big finish, comics and books? This would be really nice to know. If you're not seeing our review of Revolution of the Dark, go check it out right now. That was really, really fun to make. Also, if you're not up to date with the current Series 13 news, we've got a video for that. So go check out our Series 13 What We Know 
to find out all the latest information about Series 13. Subscribe to keep up to date with all our most recent videos. We've got loads planned in, in January, so do that to keep up to date. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I shall see you next time. See ya.